tea room is closed on a Sunday. Why? Why? What do you think of this weather? Autumnal, unfortunately. So it's a very wet, extremely windy day. In fact, I think there's some kind of a storm blowing through the north of England today. And of all the hair that I chose to wear today, I chose to wear a long piece. Now, the reason I chose this is because I wanted to continue with the theme. I wasn't fulfilled enough with my Giselle. I wanted the bouffant, I wanted the volume. But I can't possibly wear a synthetic piece in these conditions with a big scarf and stuff. So I had no choice really but to wear real hair because that doesn't matter. You can bundle it up in whatever and it's going to, to bear up all right. We're going to um, a seaside village. And you know what? A lot of people love to have outings on, on sunny days. I love outings on a variety of days. Give me a windy, overcast, rainy, blustery day. And I love to go to the seaside on that day as much as any other. We're hoping to explore this little town by the sea. Very little. Is it a town or a village? Oh, it's a town. It's a town. So there are nice little shops and little tea room and of course the actual beach and the view and the wind and the sky and oh it's just the richness of the seasons that I love. The thing is I just love hair. I just want to feel the hair on my face, on my cheek. I want to feel it whipping around my head, getting into my eyes. I, I won't apologize for that. You know, I'm not gonna be able to wear long pieces forever. I just wanna be able to do it while I'm able. I want to be able to just wrap myself in this while we're traveling, have a little doze, because no matter how much sleep I'm getting at the moment, it's never enough. And enjoy the sumptuous, soft, supple feel of this extremely sensual hair. I don't want to feel like I'm at work. I want to feel like my mind is liberated along with my hair. <laughs> I know, Linda Six. I know that I sound a little bit bonkers, a lot bonkers sitting in my bedroom talking to wigs. Whoever would have thought that it would come to this? And I've gone one step further today. I want to wrap myself up in this, in this wrap and just not worry about what my hair is doing. If it gets all wild in the wind, I want to enjoy that look. You know, that windswept, beautiful, tussled, carefree look just just fills up my spirit you know when I'm back in Reese next week I want to feel like I've had my fill like I've had my fill of long unruly hair somehow or other it just speaks to my soul and and I I bet you you know exactly what I mean the further along the path to the significance of hair and the qualities that hair has got, the more surprising this stuff is.
do the opposite generally to what society expects of you. Mm -hmm. So being a bit weird about such a thing is actually probably quite a good thing. I suppose society would expect me to really obsess and worry about my hair loss and spend a whole load of money on different lotions and potions and spend half my time scouring the internet trying to find extortionate treatments for it or society definitely wouldn't expect me to actually not care a hoot as to whether my hair grows back or falls out or what happens to it mm, but they definitely want you to spend money on what's probably essentially snake oil um, the, the good thing about the hair is that you can see what you're getting. You know, you pay your money, you get that. You know, all sorts of lotions, you pay your money and you don't know what you're getting, you probably get nothing. And it takes ages and ages if you are going to get any result. I don't, I don't think that there is a solution that is possible. Now, I, I dare say if I completely changed my diet, if I did a raw re vegan lifestyle, if I had, you know, retreats, maybe even in the Amazon for a forest, yeah, I may, I may have an improvement in my hair, but am I going to carry on being able to pay my mortgage, um, you know, pay my bo mobile phone bill? I don't think so, you know, this is the best I can do actually. It's all that I'm prepared to do. I'm not prepared to anxiously attempt to solve my hair loss problem, make my hair grow back. Under the circumstances, I don't think it's ever gonna grow back. Some people wouldn't be caught dead out here on a day like today, but this is just so exciting. Hey, would you like to put my hat on your head? You could hold my hat. No, put it in my bag. Just let the cobwebs blow away. For all you guys in the sun, <laughs> this is how you really put your wig through her paces. <laughs> wow. I can't wait to get to, get to the end of this pier. Look at the colour of that water occurred to me, ladies. I think the colour of that water is exactly the colour of linen green in the mulberry handbag. Maybe this is an omen of some sort. I love going out in the at the weekends. We just have such lovely days out at the weekends. Always so different from one another. Well, we're gonna buy some stuff, make a roast dinner tonight, and have a nice evening by the fire, eh, Steve? Yeah. See you tomorrow.